Uh, Pillbox actually started as three separate projects at uh, mostly at the National Library of Medicine. Uh, first, there was a project involving discussions between the NLM, the National Library of Medicine, and the National Capital Poison Control Centers. They were looking for a way to supplement Poise Index and Tox Index, the system that their agents use when helping identify unknown medications on the phone. Then also, the Lister Hill Center at the National Library of Medicine was involved in research looking at color as a discriminant for identifying solid dosage medications. Also, the Department of Veterans Affairs approached the NLM looking for high-resolution photography to supplement the QA on their filling lines of uh, their CMOPs, their Consolidated Mail Outpatient Pharmacies, where they fill tens of thousands of prescriptions a day within the VA system. So each of these projects came together from different individuals, but at the same time, and it was realized that a uh, single project was really the solution to all of these uh, problems and then later on the FDA became involved uh, with their interest in a system to provide a reference standard of images that would also be part of the structured product label so this is really the perfect storm of uh, sort of federal pharmaceutical information sets. So how the project's been in existence in one form or another for close to four years now, initially starting with photographing the solid dosage forms within the Department of Veterans Affairs formulary, and then within about the last two to two and a half years, the FDA uh, became a major player, and with the agreement between the FDA and the National Library of Medicine, that really changed the scope and focus, and this became primarily a patient safety initiative while still meeting the needs of poison control centers and the other original stakeholders. The home page for Pillbox, and you can see again, we're focused on identification of unknown solid dosage pharmaceuticals. We actually have two versions of Pillbox. One is Adobe Flex or Adobe Flash powered, and the other is HTML or uh, PHP based. Um, what's important about uh, these two different versions is this uh, PHP HTML version is actually compatible with screen reading software and uh, other visual assistance software as well. So I'll demo both of them. But first, the Adobe Flash version. There's a disclaimer, of course, that states that this is a research and development uh, project and that these images are not part of the FDA drug label and have yet to be verified by the sponsor or manufacturer. And this is the intro screen. We've got a short video tour that will play that gives you some basic information about how to use Pillbox. But really, the way to get started are using these five buttons on top, which correspond to the five physical characteristics of solid dosage medications. Imprint, shape, color, size, and score. And they each have a unique view or selection palette to let you give Pillbox information about the pill you're trying to identify. So let's say I had an unknown red capsule with the letters ER written on it. So I might start at shape and say, okay, a capsule must be two interlocking caps. All right, that's what I'm looking for. And as I click, I'll begin to see pictures of capsules. Now, I don't see the capsule I'm looking for. I don't even see any red capsules. So I'll click on color, and here I have 12 colors that correspond to the approved color values uh, within the FDA's structure product label and I'll select red and now as I'm looking I have a number of red capsules and I see there's only 42 matches so I'm really narrowing down my possibilities and this just happens to be the capsule I'm looking for there's the ER written on it and as I click on it I get a larger view of the capsule that I can actually zoom a little bit more and drag just to get a better look and this is um, erythromycin 250 milligrams and in this area I see a little more information the imprint the shape the size uh, DEA schedule I believe this is not a scheduled medication and uh, FDA product code and other information but most importantly there are two links here one leads to the FDA approved drug label the other leads to drug information so Clicking on the FDA drug label link, we'll go to Daily Med, which is a resource of the National Library of Medicine that serves the FDA approved drug labels. So all of our drug labeling information is here. Or going back to Pillbox, selecting drug information, 
we go to the drug information portal, which is a meta search tool um, for pharmaceutical data inf and information across the federal government. And in this case, we're still tweaking the connection, so we'll have to give it a little help and choose one of these, erythromycin. And this is a feature that we're still um, working on. And now we have some basic information about erythromycin, a description, categories, and now we have direct links to resources such as Clinical Trials, Medline Plus, uh, even the Hazardous Substances Data Bank, which gives us very specific information about these drugs. So depending on what role you're in, whether it's an emergency responder, a clinician, or someone working in industry, these information links will take you to uh, the resources that are specific to your interests. Now going back to Pillbox, I demonstrated shape and color, but I'd also like to demonstrate the imprint search capabilities. So in this case, I'll do a search for ER, which was the text written on erythromycin, and I'll see erythromycin comes up. Actually, we have uh, two records here for erythromycin. There are uh, two records in the database for that. But also, we can search for pills based on their relative size. So now I'm looking for pills that are 13 to 17 millimeters in size, and here they are. Or we can also search for scoring information, which is the number of equal size pieces a pill can be broken into if you use the lines on the pills. So if I want to see everything that is has a score of 2, I click on 2, and now I'm looking at all of the pills that have a score value of 2. And you'll notice up here we still have a few of our breadcrumbs left over. It's a, it's a bug we're working on right now, as a matter of fact, and we should have that one corrected very soon. So using a combination of each of these ap uh, small applets, the imprint, shape, color, size, and scoring, we can get users very close, if not directly to the pill they're looking for. And in terms of imprint, we're also doing relevancy rankings so that records with an exact match of 10 come up first, such as this record. And you'll see there are certain records that we don't have images for yet. And that's because we're working with the Department of Veterans Affairs uh, formulary, which is about 800 medications. We're starting a pilot project with the FDA in fall of 2009 to begin to fill out this database. And as I said before, the long-term goal is really to work with sponsors and manufacturers so that these images are part of the FDA drug label and we have a sustainable model for keeping an image with every record in this database. Now, in this search we did for the string of 10, you'll see as we move down, we start to get, oh, here's a pill that has the number 10 in the middle. So our relevancy ranking system really gives us the most likely matches first, but still gives us all of the other matches that could be possible. And again, for each of these pills, once you've made the identification, we can again go to the FDA drug label or to the drug information portal. I'll go back to the home page now, and I'd like to show the uh, HTML, or the PHP version, of Pillbox. This is the same search functionality, but in a form that is screen reader accessible and Section 508 compliant. So I can still search by the string 10, and we'll see the same records come up in the same order that they appear in the other application. Now there are certain advantages to this HTML version. One is that we've included the ability to search by drug name or ingredient. And to that end, we've included a chemical spell checker. So I frequently misspell the word aspirin, so now it's asking me, you might be trying to search for aspirin. And there are the hits for drugs that contain aspirin. Or, if it's a medication that I have no hope of spelling correctly, just the first few letters will allow us to see the matches in the database that start with those characters. In this case, I'll choose acetaminophen and search. So actually, this HTML version has more functionality than the Adobe Flex version. However, this version is focused on two very specific tasks. The first is rapid identification of an unknown based on its physical characteristics. And using these five applets here, also, its secondary use is simply for reference. If a person wanted to know what do all of the red capsules on the U.S. market, for prescriptions that is, currently look like, 
Let me clear a search and go back. And here, red and our cap. There's our capsules. So now we can start to visually look at what are the red capsules on the market. And as you can see, we still have more records to fill in, which is why we're working with manufacturers to include images of all medications that are currently on the U.S. market.